right, YouTube, how's it going? It's me, Alec. Thank you for stopping by as always. And today I bring you guys a class setup video. Today I'm going to be using the Type 2 here in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And you guys might see something that's a little odd. You guys don't really see in competitive gameplay, but I personally think it's something that's really good and kind of OP. So, I've seen a lot of people do crazy stuff with this class. I myself was able to clutch a 1v2 with this class, and it was 5-5. Anyway, so what I was playing is a 2v2 search and destroy one and done tournament. And so we went to round 5, I was able to clutch this 1v2, and I had a couple of seconds to do it with, and I had this class to work with. So, what I'm going to be using in this class is obviously the Type 2, and with this Type 2, I'm rocking the ELO sight, and within the ELO sight, I'm using this type of lens. Um, I don't know, that's just me. A lot of people use um, dots, I use this lens. Uh, it helps me out. It's, it, I guess you can say it's, it's, uh, it's up to anybody. You know, you can probably do better with the dots or the lens. I don't know, Wh whatever you guys use, make sure you use that though. Anyways, for my attachments, I'm going to be using foregrip for whenever I'm shooting, not much recoil, and when I'm getting shot at while I'm shooting, it helps me out. Quick draw, you wanna be quick and run around like I did in this uh, game here or gameplay, you guys can use quick draw. Now, I'm using stock, I love stock, I've been using it since Black Ops 2, and I do recommend you guys using stock, you guys can, you know, move while aiming down sights, um, you're not gonna be that slow, but it helps out, and this is the main thing, the suppressor. I like the suppressor. Whenever you're shooting at people, they don't know where you're at. They're looking around, they can hear in their headsets, but they don't really know where you're at. If you're playing against a team that has silencers, communication is key because they're gonna be everywhere. You're not gonna see them in your mini map, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go off by callouts. Sometimes when they're shooting at people, you see the red dot on your mini map. You can kind of you know guess a play, what they're gonna do, or predict them. But when you don't know where they're at, it's really hard. And I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened here, and um, it's gonna help you a lot. So I do recommend using the suppressor. Now for perks, I'm just using blast shield. Whenever I hit with an aid, I don't die instantly. I don't give them first blood I'm able to run around and second perk you can't have them because we beefed up this type too but I don't really need it to be honest with you attack resist is key though but here in this type uh, this type 2 class I don't really need it because I'm just running fast and if I do get stunned I just lay down and we have perk 3 which is dead silence obviously you need that silence in search and destroy you guys can run around and no one can hear what you're or where you're going through if that makes any sense so this is going to be the class setup let's go into the gameplay all right, let's go. So what we do is Danny gets bomb, and what we want to do is get first blood. We want to drop first blood. First blood is key, especially in a 2v2. Anyway, so we know they get aggressive with their type 2s mid-map, and they didn't do it. Now, I don't really use the type two this type 2 class, but they pulled it out. They have the different type 2 class, so I decided to pull it out, and um, we're just waiting for them. We're waiting for them to hit flank or like just to rush the mid-map, and they're not doing anything, which is really weird. As you can see here, uh, Tweez is watching our far flank, and um, I'm just here checking mid-map, see what I can find, watching uh, white bands. I don't see anything. I tell them, just keep watching your flank. I'm going to use our Scarab. As you can see, I pull up the Scarab, and I'm going to you know go through A and see if I see anybody. And as you can see here, I don't see anything. So I'm like, you know what? A is going to be clear to climb. They're going to be in our flank probably, so we got to hurry this up. And I do have kinetic armor, so that's why I'm the one pretty much peeking everything, because if I see anybody, I'm popping that kinetic armor, and I'm rushing them. So as you can see here, no one's, no one's flanking, and in about a second or two, I'm going to tell them, you know what? Let's go A. As you can see here, we're pretty much saying, let's get out of here, we're wasting too much time, we have 30 seconds left, and uh, let's see what we can do. So I pop Kinetic to see if I can pop, if I can find someone and kill them. Uh, when people hear the Kinetic go off, especially in a really quiet game like a 2v2, they run away. So I was like, if I'm able to make them run away, I'm able to, you know, scare them off. As you can see here, they just dropped Tweez, and I'm looking for him, I have, I'm desperately looking for him, I have to kill him. I find him, I snap on him, and I kill him. The other guy, he calls him out, you know what, stay up, you only need, what, 7 seconds left? I grab him. And I try planning. So at this point, I'm like, all right, <laughs> hopefully I don't get killed off bomb as soon as I plant. So I left, I get another scarab. Now, before anything, I'm pretty sure the guy just played in the corner said, you know what, he doesn't have time to plant, I'll just wait it. That's why they get killed off bomb right away. As you see, I check it, I leave, I'm just playing timer. I'm trying to be as fast as I can so he doesn't see me. I'm trying to, you know, get timing on him. And I do get timing on him. I see him by Dolly, as you can see there. He's right there back bowling. So I leave, and look at this. This messes me up, but hey, things happen for a reason. So I go back, and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to challenge bomb, see if he's there. I'm going to check bomb. He's not there. I go sit in the corner, and I'm just going to play time. As you can see here, we have 11 seconds left. I'm just going to wait it out, and then check the bomb before he defuses. I go up towards the bomb. Boom, he's there defusing, and I'm able to kill him. So yeah, I really like this class. It helps you out a lot. So hopefully this class helps you out. Maybe you can clutch your 1v2, 1v4. I don't know, something where it's really important. I do recommend you guys using this class. Try it out. If it does work out for you, let me know with a comment down below. If it doesn't, let me also know. All right, make sure to like this video if you like it. Make sure to leave a comment down below. And also make sure to subscribe so you guys can keep up with my videos. And I will be uploading more pop-up videos soon. All right, guys. See you guys later.